everyone welcome back to Beauty by Trish and what I'm coming to you with today is a get ready with me now this get ready with me is kind of a two-for-one because I had a request to show how I used my Kat Von D makeup. I'm going to show you how I use my Kat Von D lock it tattoo foundation and I am also going to be doing the this eye look that I had in a video a week or so ago and using this palette. I showed you the colors that I used as I went through the video, but these are colors that you might already have in your collection um, already at home. I used this guy, what is it? Warm Taupe. I used Warm Taupe. I used Sienna. I used Caramel, Fresh Peach, and aqua so you would probably have colors similar to that in your own um, makeup collection maybe just not from Anastasia so but it was a fun eye look and yeah thank you guys so much for the suggestions I have a couple other videos that I'm working on that were suggestions anytime you guys want to see something please just let me know down below sometimes I run a little bit behind life's been crazy lately and um, okay guys so on with the get ready with me I hope that you guys have a great day and enjoy the video warning I have no makeup on so yeah all right guys so I am doing a two for one today. I had a request on showing how I use my Kat Von D Locket Foundation. And I also had a request on an eye look that I had the other day doing some videos. I thought we would just get ready and do our thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. When I do use the Kat Von D Locket Foundation, I do go for a pretty silicone-y type of a primer because it just makes it a little bit easier to work the foundation in for the most flattering look if you have mature skin or if you have skin issues that you really want to ensure that you get the best possible look out of your foundation. I want to let that set for a moment while I talk to you a little more. I just a time got way too much. And with silicone, um, with silicone primers, you have to really be careful not to use too much because if you use too much of a silicone primer it will ball up when you go to put your foundation on so get rid of that excess now with the locket foundations I'll tell you this while my primer is setting I love my Kat Von D locket foundations it is just a great foundation it wears it covers anything you need covered great foundation the first thing that comes to mind when I think of this is my first experience going to a Sephora it's before we got our local one it was a bigger Sephora and the girl that was there told me that oh I didn't really want Kat Von D foundation because number one it's almost impossible to get a good match Number two, it's really difficult to work with, to work with, with maturing skin and not have it set into your lines and make you accentuate things that you do not want accentuated. So that didn't matter to me <laughs> because I wanted to try it. And so when we got our new Sephora up here, I went in and the girl said, it is difficult to get a good match. You really have to go to someone not, you know, just because you work at Sephora doesn't mean you're a magical makeup princess. They're humans too. They have bad days. And if they just don't want to deal with it, then, you know, you're not going to get the best match possible. I am comfortable enough 
to go in and self swatch and try to match my foundations as I tan, as my tan gets darker, as I fade, whatever the case is. My favorite thing to do is to, I know how dark I get when I get really dark and that is 64, medium 64 is how dark. That is the darkest I get when I tan in the summer. And then I get a light, light one with a pink. Um, and so this is light 44. You know, there's times of the years that I can wear these by themselves, but sometimes I have to mix and that's okay. Now, if you have mature skin, these are just suggestions. This is what I do if I'm using these foundations on a client or myself. I have mature skin. If I have a client that has more mature skin, then this works beautifully with them. Depending on their skin, if they have dry skin, then I will take one of these two products with me. This is the Max Strobe Cream. And this is the Magic Lumi by L'Oreal. Basically, it's the same thing. And what I do is I mix to get the foundation color that they need. I get that all mixed in, ready to go on their skin. And then I take one of these two things and I put a pump in. And then I mix it up really good. It usually does not mess with the color of the foundation that I have gotten ready to put onto their skin because if you have more mature skin these are going to make it have a softer more friendly look as the finished product sets so I do like to use these now if I have a client or say for myself summer's not really here but it's starting. The spring, the heat of the spring, the humidity of the spring is starting. So I can't really do this right now because I would be an oil, oil slick. So if you have normal skin, you don't want the Lumi or the strobe cream in your mixture, then what I will do is I will take my darker foundation and I'll get a lighter something like this Naked Skin and I will mix those and get the color I get. Or if you have a little more combination to oily skin, especially if it's a humid time of the year, then I'm going to use a Makeup Forever and mix it with this because this is a mattifying foundation. So isn't this, but yet this is a lot more liquidy. So they're going to complement each other. Another one from the drugstore is the L'Oreal Lumi Foundation. That would work beautifully to go with these. So that is really what I find works best if you're wanting to use this foundation and you have skin issues or maturing skin. I also, until lately, this was how I would apply it. I would get a much more controlled finished product that I was happy with. Although lately, since I watched Emily Noel's video on this brush, as I watched her video on this Up and Up Complexion brush, this is amazing. I can also use this and get just as good a coverage. It does not deposit too much on my face that's going to be an issue later. So I'm just going to go ahead. I know I'm not 64 dark. And I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use this, the Naked, and this is in 2.0. A couple squirts. See how much more liquid? I cannot speak today at all. So I'm just going to mix those up on the back of my hand. I still think this is too dark. Oh, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my primer should be good and dry. Ouch, I'm a train wreck. My primer should be good and dry, so I'm going to try this on my face. I'm telling you I'm a train wreck. You still have the coverage.
just personal preference with my skin I like to go back in especially around my hairline and make sure that's cleaned up and that's how I like to use this the best you can add like I like I said these are great I can do that in the winter I can do it in the fall I might be able to do it right now but our humidity has been really high so I'm asking for an issue if I use these right now but my skin gets really oily in the summertime I use this today it's a much thinner consistency this is more of like a cream heavy so it just helps even it out it doesn't take away from the coverage but I love it never be it not just with this but with any foundation don't be afraid to mix your foundations to get your right color it just inevitably now even if it was like really high humid say this is July and it's miserably hot out there I would still probably go ahead and use this although it does not keep me really matte it does make this foundation glide on beautifully because of the silicone in it I would probably use an extra mattifier in my t-zone under this so that's just a heads up if you have coily skin and this brush is phenomenal it just you saw how nicely for such a small brush it just makes everything blend very nicely very quickly I'm going to go ahead and do my brows before I get started on the eye look so you guys know the routine I'm going to speed you up okay so it's an eyebrow thing my wet and wild guys I love this love 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 this and I'm just going to put that all over my lid my painterly that's almost gone upside down turn it thank you that goes all over my lid as well now I wanted to use something a little sparkly so on too cool is going to be on just the inner part of my lid and yes it's drying out just a bit I'm just going to use a flat like a crease brush and here's my Maya Mia Mia Maya palette and warm taupe is going to go right into my crease first get that all blended and then I'm going to go in with caramel this is a beautiful color that you wouldn't think so just looking at it in the palette but it truly is a beautiful color and I'm just going to put that just lower than where the tip of the warm taupe is. Blend that in really well as well. I'm going to go in the outer corner in the V and I'm going to do the Sienna. This is the second time I've narrated this because narrated this because Zoe has her squeaky ball and she's going a little crazy. And I'm going to go with the fresh peach and I'm going to start back in the inner corner and blend inward where I'm going to put the aqua on the inside of the lid there we go that's my age rewind just doing my little V thing and then my hard candy highlight and I am setting it now with the NARS loose powder Zoe and I just love that NARS powder I'm just telling you it's amazing and I'm just going to take what's left and blend that and give it a little pow and I'm just uh, using my stay matte again it's that time of year curling the lashes and Jessie's girl great great drugstore eyeliner if your right aid is now carrying Jessie's girl I suggest you try it keep your receipt take it back if you don't like it and I'm popping some mascara on and I really wish I would have used falsies but I chose not to and this is the Milani baked body and face bronzer that I found in CVS the other day just somebody had set it down I couldn't find another one anywhere really like it really like it a lot and right up there where it's white I'm going to get a small brush no a small brush small small thank you I'm getting a small brush and I'm going to use that as my highlight yep and then my Milani blush 
I love Milani blushes, guys. If you're looking for nice blushes that are pocket friendly, try one. Okay, so this is the finished product that is with the Kat Von D foundation mixed with, I use the Naked, um, Naked Skin Foundation. You can use whatever foundation better suits your skin type. Later on into the spring, into the summer, I will be trading the Naked Foundation for the Makeup Forever HD because, as I said, it is also a mattifying foundation, but it is a thinner consistency. So that's going to make a thicker, like the Kat Von D, work better with mature skin. Now, with the eyes, I did do the eye look um, kind of fast. I showed you what I used. I did nothing more then use the eye card the card and it came whoa it came with this palette and it's the maya my maya mia palette from anastasia and i showed you each color i used and the card i just followed the card exactly and got this look I carried my green over a little bit more, I think, than she did, but I wanted the green. So, yeah, that was it. That's how I got that eye look. Took the curlers out of my hair, and yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. It feels so good to be back in front of the camera. I love you guys. Thank you for giving me a little bit of your day. God bless. Be good to each other. I'll see you in the next video.